let's work on recognizing whether it is a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to ask you to find A, and then 2AB, and then find B, and then you're going to compare 2AB to the second term, And the trinomial. If 2AB matches, then the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. If 2AB doesn't match, then the trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial. Now, I don't ever ask you whether it's a perfect square trinomial. This just helps you whether you are going to be able to factor it quickly when you recognize them. So you're going to do this as x and x, and this is 6 and 6. And you're going to see if that's even. That's the first thing I would do. So A is X. B is 6. 2AB, 2 times X times 6 is 12X. And there it is. So then it is this, X plus 6 squared. So... What did I say I would check first? I would check if that's even. It's not, so that is not a perfect square trinomial. A is x, B is 4, 2 times x times 4 is 8x, and that's not 8x. And understand that that's a, that is x and x, and that's 4 and 4. Okay, let me go back to here, and if you do not want to do um, perfect square trinomials, like I said, you don't have to um, recognize them. You just have to be able to look at something and factor it. That's 1 and 36 and 36. Terms of 36 that add up to 12, the signs are alike. They're both positive. Um, 9 and 4 is 13, 6 and 6, you have 1 and 1 here, 6 and 6 here, that's x plus 6 and x plus 6. So um, if you want to do this as a perfect square trinomial, you can. If not, that's also fine. So we're going to do 2 and 2 and 3 and 3 and 2 times that's 2x. 2x times 3. Was that even? Yes. That's 4x. That's 12x. That is a perfect uh, square trinomial. So that is 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. First terms is the 4x squared. Last terms is the positive 9. That's a minus 6x and a minus 6x with the rainbows. That works. And so it would be 2x minus 3 squared. Is it even? Yes. This is 9x and 9x. This is 5 and 5. This is 2 times 9x times 5. Oops, just 5 is 45 times 2 is 90x. It is, so it's 9x plus 5 and 9x plus 5, which is 9x plus 5 squared. Factor mentally, no. Show work. Factor these. 1, 2, to, is it even? Yes. 1, this is 1, x and 1x, and this is 2 and 2, this is 4x, x minus 2 squared, I always write it out, x minus 2 and x minus 2, and I check my, ra and my double rainbows, negative 2x and negative 2x gives me negative 4x. This is 3x and 3x. This is 2 and 2. This is 
2 times 3x times 2, which is 6x, 7, 8, 6x times 2, which is 12x, which is true. So that's 3x minus 2 squared, 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. That's negative 6x, and negative 6x gives you your negative 12x. Notice I'm checking these and going backwards. 2 and x and 1 gives me 2x. That is a perfect square. x plus 1 squared. It's a perfect square trinomial x plus 1 times x plus 1 gives me 1x, and 1x gives me 2x. I am always checking these. This is... So I can do these this one two different ways. If I notice something, I can factor out the 9, and x plus 1... Whew, sorry, getting way ahead of myself. If I factor out Never mind, not going to uh yes, I'm going to factor out. And I have x squared plus 2x plus 1. It actually goes right back to this. So that is 3 times x plus 1 and x plus 1, so that is problem is, is that would be in bracket because you took it out and then you would distribute it, so it would be 3x plus 3 and squared, which that's confusing, so we're going to do it the other way. Um, you have 2 and 3x plus, oops, times 3, that's 9x plus, times 2 is 18x, that is a perfect square, that's 3x plus 3 squared. Yeah, that gets a little funkier when you have, you have to realize that 3 came out, or the 9 came out of all of that. So the 9 has to come out all of that and then that becomes a 3 times 3 and 1 3 goes there and 1 3 goes there to get that. So easier to do it the way the paper is. Is it even? Yes. This is 4 2 times 4 times 5 um, x sorry 4x that's 20 times 2, which is 40, so that's 4x minus 5 squared. That is recognizing a um, perfect square trinomial.